we're just going to go into a time of worship. If we can all just close our eyes and raise our hands as a sign of surrenderance. We worship you, Yeshua. We magnify your name, Yeshua.
Psalm 133. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Behold, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion. And as we go into a time of prayer, let us just raise up a sound of thanks to our God who is amazing, who is loving, who is kind. We spoke earlier about the faithfulness of God. We're thanking God not just for the faithfulness of the last five years. It wasn't just the five years that got us here today. It was the faithfulness from the generations before. The leaders who taught our leaders. The servants who sowed the years, the decades, the generations before us that paved the way for us to get here today. For scripture tells us that the Lord God is faithful from generation to generation. And he's faithful today. And he will remain faithful forevermore. So let us just raise up a sound of thanks in the name of the Lord Jesus. Just thanking the Lord God for how faithful he is. Thank you, the Lord, for how great he is. Thank you, the Lord, for how mighty he is. In the name of Jesus, let's pray, family. Father, Lord. 
we thank you, God, for your faithfulness. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your goodness. Lord Jesus, I thank you for how kind you are, how loving you are, how you have kept us, oh God. I thank you, not just for the five years, not just for year one or year two, not just for year three or year four, not just for the fact that we have been able to see year five today, but I thank you, Lord God, for you being faithful every day of our lives. Oh, Lord God, even before we were born, you were faithful. You were faithful to the generations before us. You were faithful from the generations to generations. You were faithful to the end. And so, Lord Jesus, we say thank you. Oh, God, there's nothing that can separate us from your love. There's nothing that can separate us from your faithfulness, oh, God. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy mercy. Great is thy love. So, Lord Jesus, I say thank you, oh, God, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord God, for the faithfulness that is ahead of us. For you are not just ending today, oh God. You're going to be faithful in year six, faithful in year seven, faithful in year eight. Lord God, you will continue and remain faithful to the end. For that is who you are. So, Lord God, Jesus, we're thanking you not just because of the church, but we're thanking you because of who you are. We are thanking you because of your nature, your nature that never changes, your nature that never ceases, your faithfulness, oh God, that remains and sustains, oh God. Lord Jesus, seasons can change. Oh God, circumstances may change, but you, Lord God, we can thank God. We can rejoice in you because you remain the same, oh God. You remain the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So Lord God, Jesus, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for you are awesome and worthy of the praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for you are awesome and worthy of all the honor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, you deserve to be magnified today. So we say thank you, God. Oh, we say that you are awesome, Lord Jesus. We praise you and we worship your name. Oh, God, we say thank you. Oh, Lord Jesus, we say thank you, oh, God. It's more than just a, oh, just a celebration of five years. Lord God, we're celebrating you. We're celebrating who you are. We're celebrating you showing up all the time, oh, God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your goodness. And we praise you, Lord Jesus. Scripture tells us that even when we are faithless, even when we're doubting, he remains faithful. There's a beauty in that, is that the Lord continues to show up. He continues to show his love. He continues to show his mercy despite our actions. But in line with today's theme of new beginnings, even though the Lord is showing up, there's still a responsibility on us to remain faithful. Just because he says that he will be faithful even when we're faithless, it doesn't give us room to just do whatever we want. This is a moment for new beginnings, an opportunity for us to show up. The Lord has been faithful, but can we also match that? Can we also be faithful today? So Lord God, let us just pray that the Lord will help us to remain faithful to him. We've gotten to year five, but we can go further, but the Lord wants more. But it requires us to also be faithful. It requires us to also obey him. It requires us to also say yes. So let us just pray, Lord God, help me to remain faithful to you. Help me to remain steadfast in my pursuit of you. Oh, the race is not a sprint. It's not over yet. We're still running. We still have to endure. Oh, So Father, Lord Jesus, we just pray for the grace to remain faithful to you, Lord Jesus. We pray for the grace to remain faithful to who you are, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord God, may we be faithful as you are faithful. May we remain faithful as you are faithful. May we show up daily, oh God. You provide us with daily bread, but can we come and seek you daily? Oh, can we ask you for it daily? Can we show up daily? Oh, Lord God, you remain faithful. But can we do the same? Lord Jesus, it's not by our own strength or our mind. It's only through you working in us that we can even hope to remain faithful. So, Lord Jesus, we pray, do a work within us that we will remain faithful to who you are. Do a work within our hearts that we will remain faithful to your name. Oh, Lord Jesus, your spirit is living within us. Also, God, I pray, quicken us. Give us a desire that we may endure that we may be steadfast, that we may endure, that we will continue to pursue you to the end of time, oh God. Oh, Lord God, may we remain faithful as you are faithful. May we love as you love. May we be kind as you are kind. May we be merciful as you are merciful. May we seek you, oh Lord God, with all of our hearts. 
Oh, create in us a new heart, oh God. Oh, create in us a clean heart, oh God. A heart that longs for you. A heart that desires for you. A heart that will remain faithful. Oh God, we're not satisfied with just five years. We're not satisfied with just celebrating today, oh God. If you remain faithful, let us remain faithful with you. May we remain steadfast with you, oh God. We want more of you, oh God. We want to give more of us unto you, Lord Jesus. Take more, take more, take more, oh God. All the areas that we've put to the side, the areas that we haven't offered, oh God, take more. The insecurities, take it, oh God. The areas of fear, take it, oh God. Anything that will come in the way of us remaining faithful to you, oh God. Whatever it is, whether it's doubts, whether it's fears, whether it's fears, oh God. Oh God, we lay it down before you, oh God, for our one pursuit. It's to remain faithful, oh God. Our one pursuit, oh God, is to remain faithful to you, Lord Jesus. It's to seek you with all our hearts, with all our might, oh God. The psalmist said, Oh, one thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. May that be our confession, O oh Lord, that we will dwell in your house. Oh, that we will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives. May that be our truth, our reality, O oh God, that we will dwell in the house of the Lord. May we desire nothing more than that, than to be in your presence. May we desire nothing more than that, than to be in your company, O oh God. There is no greater place, there is no better place than to be with you, O oh Father. Oh God, may we honor you with our lives. No greater desire, no greater longing than to be in the company of the Father. One thing I have desired that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Before we go into a time of praise and worship, let us just declare this verse, Psalms 27, 4, over ourselves. If you could repeat after me. One thing I have desired, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy. I will sing. I will sing praises to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. And happy five years. Woo! Amen, amen. So today is a special day. Celebrating five years of a new thing, London. God has truly, truly brought us this far. Um, and we're going to celebrate today. But before we go into a time of praise and worship, I just want to read a scripture that I believe God wants me to share with the church as we enter into year five. And it's Hebrews 12, from verse 1 to 2. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, 
despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Amen. So I'd like you to turn to your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor. <laughs> and you're going to give them a high five. So there's three instructions. You're going to give them a high five. You're going to tell them, well done. And then you're going to tell them to keep running the race with endurance. Let's, let's do that one more time. So you're going to give your neighbor a high five. You're going to tell them, well done. And then tell them, keep running the race with endurance. Amen. So we're going to go into a time of praise and worship. And we're going to go in, into a time of praise and worship. We're going to sing. We're going to clap. We're going to dance. So we want the energy to be high in the room. Is that okay, church? Amen. Let's go.
there is power in the name of Jesus. Power in your name. There is, there is, there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Power in the name. Say there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name. Things change, things change. Things change when we call you Jesus. Things change. Things change when we call your name. Say things change. Things change when we call you Jesus. Things change. Let's just enter into a time of thanksgiving. Just offer up a sound of thanksgiving in the room. It's not by strength, it's not by power, but it's by his spirit, says the Lord, that we have seen the year five of a new thing, London. We thank God for his grace. We thank him for keeping us. We thank him for preserving us. We thank him for protecting us. 
just raise up a sound of thanksgiving. Father, we are grateful, oh God. Father, we are grateful, oh God. Thank you. Thank you for how far you have brought this ministry. Thank you for our leaders, oh God. Thank you for how you've expanded the church. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the impact we are making in this city. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for taking us from glory to glory. Thank you for taking us from strength to strength. Thank you for taking us from height to height. Father, we are grateful, oh God. Thank you for pouring out yourself on us. Thank you for pouring out your wisdom on us. Thank you that you are faithful, oh God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us the grace to endure, for giving us the grace to persevere, for giving us the grace to keep Keep on going. Come on, church, just lift up your voice and say thank you. What are you grateful for? What are you grateful for? You've been planted in this house. Or even if you're a visitor, just open up your mouth and say thank you for what God has done in your life. We are grateful, oh God. We will be like that one leper who came back to say thank you. And Jesus said, were there not other nine people that I healed? Oh, Father, we say thank you. Father, we recognize your goodness in our lives. We recognize your faithfulness in our lives. We recognize how much you've been good to us in our lives. We say thank you, oh God. We say thank you, oh God. We say thank you. And as we enter into year five, Father, our hearts cry is more of you. We want to go deeper in you. We want to be closer to you. our hearts cry, oh God. That's our prayer, oh God. That we'll enter into new realms of intimacy with you. New realms of closeness with you. That we will see things that we've never seen before. That we will have encounters that we've never had before. That you will reveal yourself in ways that we've never seen before. Father, oh God, take us more deeper. Take us deeper, oh God. Take a new thing, London, deeper, oh God. Even our leaders, take them deeper, oh God. We want to go deeper in you, oh God. Nothing else will do, oh God. Hey, I just want you. 
just want you. Oh, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else. Nothing else, nothing else. I just want you. Who do we just want you, Lord? Oh, we just want you, we just want you, Abba Father. We just want you, Holy Spirit. We just want you, Jesus. We just want you, Jesus. Oh, we just want you, Lord. We just want you, Lord. We just want you, Lord. Oh. And nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Nothing.
Today, Lord, yeah. that you will fill us up God. again, oh God. Let's just allow the Lord to truly minister into place. His presence is in the room. There's healing in the room. There's forgiveness in the room. There's his love is in the room. So let us just pray quickly just that the Lord will just touch our hearts. May our hearts be open and tender. May our hearts be open and ready to receive him. May our hearts be open and ready to receive his love, receive his goodness, receive his mercies. If we could just continue in worship and praise. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Fill me up. And if we could just raise our hands in the presence of our Father. Oh, as a sign, as a declaration, as we receive His love, as we receive the healing. Oh, God, I'm all sick of this. As we receive, oh God, His mercy. Oh, guilt is passing away. Oh, Ramama this. Fear is passing away. Oh, Ramama Kosin. Anxiety is passing away. Sing this like 
we believe it. Let's sing this that we really want it. Come on. Let's sing it that we believe that the Lord, that he's in this room, that his presence is here. We're not just singing lyrics. We're not just saying words. But this is a declaration. I know that there's those of us in the room who are tired of being like this, tired of going through cycles, tired of going through highs and lows, tired of going through good days and bad days. But this is our opportunity to declare before our Lord God and to ask Him, Lord, fill me up. Fill me up with your love. Fill me up, oh God, I need healing. Oh, fill us up, oh Jesus. Fill us up, oh God. We are in need of you. What we have is not enough. We need more of you, oh God. Oh, we've tried to carry it by ourselves. We've tried to do it our own ways. But Lord Jesus, fill us up, oh God. Fill us up, Lord Jesus. We do this in all humility, oh God. For we know, Lord God, we need more of you. Oh, so fill us up, oh Jesus. Oh, fill us up, oh Jesus. Oh, fill us up, oh Jesus. We are in need of you. Oh, we have no other source, oh God. Our help comes from the Lord. Oh, Rabbi Baki sing in the name. We put our trust not in horses and chariots. Oh, we put our trust in the Lord. For you will fill us up, oh God. Your spirit lives within us and we are alive in you, oh God. Oh God, depression is gone. Rabbi Baki sing in the name. The anxious thoughts of God. Confess whatever it is that you need, oh God, for the Lord to take away as He fills you up. We lay it down before you, oh God. Whatever worries and cares, we lay it down, oh God. As you fill us up, oh God, let's continue, oh God. Let's continue in worship. Oh, there's healing in the words. There's healing in His filling up. Oh, Rabbi, as He fills us up, there's a change and a transformation happening. I shall decrease and he shall increase. Oh, Lord Jesus, less of us and more of you. Less of our thoughts and more of yours. Not our will, but your will be done, oh God. Oh, God, we see not in the natural, but by the Spirit, oh God. We see not by our natural eyes, but, Lord God, by the Spirit. Oh, Lord Jesus, we just declare. Oh, Rebebe, I want to run if we could just take that one more time just that the Lord would fill us up and fill me up God fill me